This is Jason with Glitch in the System. Today we are going to do the quiz Build a Triangle, which is part of Udacity's front end web developer course in the JavaScript section. All right, so this is a tricky one. What we need to do is we need to have a console statement that prints out this triangle based on the number that you pass into the function. And to do that, we're going to actually have to call a function from another function. OK, so here's the starter code. Let's go ahead and grab that, pop it into Visual Studio Code here. And since we already have a function here, let's go ahead and see what that function does by printing it out. Um, so make line, and let's just say 5. All right. I'm going to copy that, paste that in there. Let's do a test run. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five stars. All right, so make line does exactly what it's called. It makes a line and it takes the number that you pass into it and it creates stars. Okay, but also it creates a new line. So let me make another copy of this so that we can see that. So you can see there's a makes five stars and does, does a new line. And then when you call it again, it makes five stars and does a new line. So let's get started here. Oops, let's delete that. We don't need that anymore. So we know what the function is called. So I'm just going to copy to function, build triangle. And we're going to need to pass in a value. So I'm just going to call it x. OK. And what I'm going to do is create a triangle bar and set it to nothing right now, or set it to an empty string. And then 4. And then we need a counter. So t equals, we'll start at 1. t is less than or equal to x, and then t plus plus. All right. So and let's put our return in here so we don't forget. Return triangle. OK. So what are we doing right now? So let me uncomment this out. So when we call console.log, we're going to call this build triangle. And then whatever build triangle does, it's going to return triangle, which is going to be a string. OK, so right now we have 10 in here. So we're passing in 10 into the build triangle. So that is going to go into here. So we have our counter is set at one right now. So while while one is less than or equal to the value we put in here, so that's 10, we're going to do something and then after that something is done, then we're going to add a number to it. So it's going to do 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 10. Um, so that'll give us our 10 rows. So, so this triangle, for example, would have 10 rows. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it would, this triangle would have this many rows, just like that. All right. So what do we need to do inside of here? So what we need to do is actually call our make line function and add that value to our triangle string. OK. All right. So let's think about that. So for line, so for the first line where t equals 1, we're going to create a line that has a single star and then it's going to make a new line. So for the first line, it's going to create this single star and then jump to the next line. Then it's going to increment to 2. So 2 is still less than 10. So it's going to create, we're going to put 2 into here. It's going to create two stars and jump to the next line and so on and so on. So let's go ahead and copy this and check to make sure that it does what I said it does. All right, test run. Okay, 
Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we have a triangle. So that wasn't too bad. Let's hit submit. And that is a passing test. All right, hit that like button if you enjoyed this, and hit subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks.